Hello, and what's this? Oh my, coming at you live on a Friday edition of Hermeneutic Hounds this week in the Word. It's going out on our journey. What's going on, everyone? Good to be with you today. So, it's going to be a twofer. <laughs> I'm going to follow this video up with another video. But for this Friday, I have a little PSA that um, I'd like to share with uh, all of you out there who are into apologetics. Now, as some of you probably know, apologetics is very close to my heart. It's something uh, I love engaging in debate. Uh, I, I love, um, you know, just engaging <laughs> anyone <laughs> that has a varying, uh, varying opinion, a difference of opinion than mine, because I like learning uh, what other, how other people view Scripture, and it uh, challenges me to delve deeper into Scripture and to what God's Word has to say on various subjects. But when at any time that we are engaging someone in a debate, I would like to encourage you, remember that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're not carnal. They're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Anytime we engage anyone, whether it be a, fe a brother or sister in Christ or someone who is in error, Whenever we engage, we are pulling down strongholds, whether it be a religious attitude, religious thoughts, uh, possibly uh, misinterpretations of Scripture, uh, possibly lifestyles and um, attitudes. When you begin pulling down the very fabric and foundation of which somebody has their hope resting on, now... <laughs> Um, it's always good to share truth, but when you start tearing those things down, you better have something to build that foundation back up. Anytime we engage, we always must share the gospel. We, we must always fill in uh, those gaps with truth. Uh, share God's word, share the gospel of Jesus, the very simple gospel of um, his death, burial, and resurrection. So for our eternal life, said by grace through faith, and this not of ourselves. When we share the true gospel, um, we're filling them, we're filling in those areas that we've torn down, we're filling them with hope. We're encouraging them. I would encourage them to uh, dig deeper into scripture. Uh, I would even encourage if you're doing a face-to-face -face debate, if possible, to sit with the Bible open and uh, see how each one of you are uh, interpreting Scripture. Uh, is one of you perhaps in error doing uh, eisegesis? Or you both clearly doing good exegesis of Scripture? That being said, just remember, the other person that you're debating, uh, their soul matters, their eternal life matters, their eternal destiny matters just as much as yours. Jesus died for them on the cross, the same as he died for you. So engage in love, always share truth and the good news of Jesus Christ, and always stand uh, for the faith. Again, it's been PSA going out on our journey on Facebook, Hermeneutic Hounds YouTube. Till next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May he turn his face towards you and give you his. Shalom. Take care. Be well. God bless.